Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to create clear, connected diagrams or flowcharts right inside Figma, this video is going to help you out. Today I'll walk you through a simple but super useful skill, how to add connector lines in your Figma design files, specifically using FigJam. By the end of this video you'll know not just how to draw lines between shapes, but also how to organize your ideas visually to make stronger presentations, easier workflows, or clear project plans. Alright, let's dive in. To start, head over to your Figma dashboard. Up at the very top, you'll see an option for FigJam. FigJam is Figma's collaborative whiteboarding tool. It's a fantastic space for brainstorming, making flowcharts, or mapping out any kind of process with your teammates. Go ahead and click on FigJam. This will open up a fresh workspace and you'll be taken to a clean design page where we can start building. Now, let's create a basic diagram to work with. Begin by adding three squares to your canvas. You can do this by selecting the shape tool, it's usually represented by a little square or rectangle icon in the left toolbar. Click on the square shape, and then click and drag anywhere on your workspace to make your first square. Repeat this process two more times so that you have three distinct squares lined up on your board. If you want, think of these squares as steps in a process or different ideas you want to connect, whatever helps you see the purpose behind connecting them. Don't stress about perfect alignment just yet. You can always tidy things up later. Next, we'll bring in the connector lines. Still in that same menu where you found the shapes, look for the connector tool. It often looks like a line with a circle at the end or a little branching arrow. This is where the magic happens for linking your ideas together. Select the connector tool, then move your cursor to one of your squares. Click on the edge of your first square, you'll see little purple dots or handles pop up when your cursor is close to an edge or corner, and these are perfect for starting or ending a connector. Click and drag from the edge of the first square toward the next one. As you drag, you'll see the line stretching out. Drop the end of the connector onto the edge of the second square and it'll snap right in place. Repeat the process to connect your second square to the third, again making sure the connector attaches cleanly to the edges. A great thing about FigJam's connectors is how flexible they are. Say you want your lines to curve around shapes, or maybe you just need your diagram to look a bit neater. Click on any connector line you've drawn, and handles will appear that let you bend or adjust the curve of the line. Play around with these until your connectors flow from one square to the next just the way you like. Don't worry if it takes a few extra moments, tweaking lines is totally normal, and it can help keep your diagrams easy to read and visually appealing. Remember, these visual touches can make a big difference, especially when you're presenting your work to clients or collaborators. And that's all there is to it. With just a few clicks, you can turn a collection of shapes into a dynamic, understandable diagram. Whether you're mapping a workflow, designing a decision tree, or just brainstorming, connector lines help your ideas communicate clearly. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and drop a comment if you have any questions, or if there's another FigJam feature you'd like to learn about. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more quick, actionable design tips. Thanks for watching, and happy designing!